As autumn 2025 arrives, a new whisper is stirring in the global winds, La Nina. The gentle rustle of falling leaves is just the beginning as subtle changes in the air hint at something bigger brewing far away. This powerful climate pattern, born in the vast Pacific Ocean, is setting the stage for a potentially memorable European winter. Cold waters stretch across the equator, sending signals that ripple across continents. While many savor the last warm days, meteorologists are already piecing together the coming cold season. Their screens glow with swirling data, each number a clue to what lies ahead. The big question, what kind of winter will it be? Will snow blanket the countryside, or will storms sweep in from the Atlantic? La Nina doesn't guarantee a specific outcome, but it shifts the odds, making certain weather more likely. It's a subtle nudge, not a promise, but one that can tip the balance. It's like a director giving the atmosphere a script, hinting at a colder, stormier, or milder performance. The actors, clouds, winds, and temperatures are all waiting in the wings. This year, the script points toward a classic La Nina setup, and Europe is waiting for the curtain to rise. Anticipation builds as the first hints of winter appear. Weather shapes our daily lives, from the clothes we wear to the plans we make, it influences our routines, our moods, and even our celebrations. Understanding La Nina gives us a head start, helping us prepare and get excited for what's ahead. It's a chance to plan, to adapt, and to look forward to the season's surprises. The signals from the Pacific are growing clearer, suggesting a winter quite different from recent years. Patterns are shifting and the story of the season is about to unfold. We're moving away from El Nino's influence and into a cooler phase. The transition is subtle, but its effects can be profound. For Europe, this often means a shift in wind patterns, opening the door for colder air from the north and east. These winds can bring crisp mornings, icy roads, and the magic of winter landscapes. The journey begins with understanding this powerful, ocean-borne phenomenon. As La Nina whispers its arrival, Europe stands ready to listen and to experience whatever winter has in store. So, what is La Nina, and why does it matter so much for our weather? Simply put, La Nina is a natural climate pattern marked by cooler-than-average ocean surface temperatures in the central and eastern tropical Pacific Ocean. These cooler waters are not just a local event, they set off a chain reaction that can be felt around the globe. Imagine the Pacific as a giant bathtub. During La Nina, powerful trade winds blow from east to west, pushing warm surface water toward Asia and allowing cold, deep water to well up near the coast of South America. This upwelling of cold water is a key feature of La Nina. This process creates a vast stretch of cooler water that can influence weather patterns far beyond the Pacific, reaching every continent in some way. The cooling doesn't just stay in the ocean. It shifts energy and moisture in the atmosphere, altering global wind and rainfall patterns. These changes can be dramatic, affecting everything from monsoons to hurricanes. Think of it as moving a giant air conditioner across the planet. The cool air changes atmospheric circulation everywhere, sometimes in subtle ways, sometimes in dramatic ones. La Nina can trigger severe droughts in some regions, drying out farmland and stressing water supplies while at the same time, it can cause intense floods in others, reminding us just how interconnected our planet's climate truly is. La Nina is part of a larger cycle with El Nino, its warmer, opposite phase and neutral phases in between, together these are known as ENSO, or the El Nino Southern Oscillation. ENSO is one of Earth's most important climate drivers, swinging back and forth every few years and shaping weather patterns worldwide. Right now, in late 2025, we're transitioning into a weak to moderate La Nina event, which means cooler Pacific waters are already starting to influence the atmosphere. Even a gentle La Nina can nudge the atmosphere, shifting storm tracks, changing rainfall, and altering temperatures across continents. This subtle but powerful push is exactly what we'll be watching as La Nina shapes Europe's winter in the coming months, bringing the potential for surprises in our weather. How does cool Pacific water affect whether you need an extra blanket in Berlin or an umbrella in Rome? The answer, the jet stream. The jet stream is a fast-flowing river of air that steers weather systems globally. La Nina alters its path and strength, which is key for Europe's winter. Typically, the jet stream over the Atlantic buckles northward, creating a blocking high near Greenland or Iceland. This high-pressure block stops mild Atlantic air, letting cold Arctic or Siberian air spill into Europe. The result? Colder than average winters, especially in northern and western Europe, these blocking patterns can lock in cold snaps for days or weeks. 
La Nina doesn't mean constant cold but it increases the odds of memorable winter spells. The exact impact depends on where the block sets up, Scandinavia, the UK, or France could feel the brunt. The main takeaway, La Nina, opens the door for Arctic air to visit Europe more often. For Northern Europe, including Scandinavia, the Baltics, and Northern Germany, a La Nina winter often signals a return to old-fashioned cold, reminiscent of winters from decades past. Residents can expect a season that feels harsher and more persistent than recent years, with longer stretches of chilly days and nights. High pressure blocking near Greenland channels frigid Arctic air southward, bringing persistent below-average temperatures and transforming the landscape into a frosty, wintry scene. This pattern can last for weeks, making the cold feel unrelenting. Snowpack is likely to steadily build, especially across Norway, Sweden and Finland, where deep accumulations can blanket forests and countryside, creating a true winter wonderland. When moist Atlantic air collides with this entrenched cold, expect significant snowfall, ideal for winter sports enthusiasts, but potentially disruptive for travel and daily life. Blizzards and heavy snowfalls may become more frequent. Across the British Isles however, the story is more complex and changeable. Early winter may be cold and dry, with sharp frosts and a higher chance of early snow, especially in the north and east of the UK. Mornings could be particularly icy, with fields and towns shimmering under layers of frost. As winter progresses, the powerful Atlantic jet stream may push back, bringing stormier, wetter weather to the region. Rain and wind could become more frequent, especially in western areas. If cold air manages to linger, these incoming storms can deliver disruptive snow events, causing travel delays and challenging conditions for communities. The British Isles can expect a highly variable winter, a cold, frosty start followed by a stormier, potentially snowy second half, with rapid changes from week to week. Flexibility and close attention to weekly forecasts will be key for staying prepared and safe throughout the season. This season could test even the best winter preparations, so communities and individuals should be ready for whatever winter brings. Now let's talk about the Alps in Central Europe. Snowfall Central for La Nina Winters The altered jet stream often steers storms right into the Alps, especially the northern and western slopes. When these storms meet cold air, they dump heavy snow, perfect for ski resorts in France, Switzerland, Austria and Italy. This can build a deep, stable snow base early, setting up fantastic conditions well into spring. For 2025 to 26, ski operators and holidaymakers have reason to be optimistic. Early bookings are wise as a snowy season will drive demand. Central Europe, Germany, Poland, Czech Republic also stands to see a colder, snowier winter. Persistent cold means more precipitation falls as snow, even in lower areas. Cities like Prague and Warsaw could enjoy a truly picturesque winter. While not non-stop snow, the trend favors cold and lasting snow cover. La Nina's reliable signal, more cold and snow for the Alps in Central Europe. Western Europe, France, Belgium, the Netherlands faces a winter of variability and clashes. Early winter may be colder and drier with frequent frosts and fog. Snow is possible during these spells, especially if a disturbance brings moisture. As winter progresses, battles between cold continental air and milder Atlantic air intensify, leading to a stormier, wetter mid to late season. If cold air lingers, expect freezing rain or heavy wet snow, potentially causing travel chaos. The Mediterranean, Spain, Italy, Greece sees a different La Nina effect. The storm track shifts south, bringing increased rainfall and helping drought-stricken areas. Temperatures fluctuate but the core Arctic cold usually stays north. Occasional cold blasts can reach Spain or Italy. Overall, the Mediterranean can expect an active, wetter-than-average winter with more wind and rain than snow. Residents should be ready for rapid weather changes and localized flooding. Let's break down winter 2025 to 26 month by month. December La Nina's influence is strongest. Expect early cold, blocking patterns, and a higher chance of snow in Northern and Central Europe. Hopes for a white Christmas are elevated. January. The pattern grows complex. The Atlantic jet stream may fight back, bringing turbulence, milder, wetter spells in the West, major snowstorms in the Alps, and continued cold in Scandinavia. February peak cold arrives. If the polar vortex weakens, it could unleash severe Arctic outbreaks, especially if La Nina's block persists. This could mean a beast from the east scenario, Siberian cold and widespread snow. These are trends not day-by-day -day forecasts. 
Weather will still surprise us. Expect an early cold start, a stormy, snowy middle, and a potentially volatile end. The season promises to keep us on our toes. Stay tuned for local updates as the months unfold. La Nina sets the background, but other wildcards shape the winter. The polar vortex, a swirling mass of cold air over the Arctic, can, if weakened, send frigid air deep into Europe. A sudden stratospheric warming event can override La Nina, bringing extreme cold for weeks. Timing is crucial. If this happens in late January or February and combines with La Nina's block, expect a severe widespread cold spell. The North Atlantic Oscillation NAO is another key player. A negative NAO phase with weak pressure differences favors blocking and colder, stormier weather in Northern Europe. A persistently negative NAO would reinforce La Nina's cold signal. Climate change adds complexity. Winters are milder on average but more volatile. A warmer Arctic can make the jet stream wavier, increasing cold snap risks. The warming trend doesn't cancel out cold winters, it just makes forecasting trickier. All these factors combine to shape Europe's winter story. With a cold, snowy winter possible, preparation is key. Ready your home. Check heating, insulate, and gather warm blankets. In snow-prone areas, stock up on shovels, salt, and car emergency kits. Planning ahead means you can face winter's challenges with comfort and confidence. For winter sports fans, the Alps and Scandinavia look promising. Book early. Even if you're not skiing, embrace local fun winter walks, ice skating, or building snowmen. Remember, this is a seasonal outlook. Trends, not daily forecasts. Stay informed with local weather updates as the season nears. Think of this forecast as the big picture. Your local meteorologist will fill in the details. Ultimately, winter is what you make of it. Find joy in the cold, the snow, and the cozy moments. Whether you dream of snow or hope for mild days, get ready to enjoy the season's unique beauty. Stay warm, stay safe, and stay curious.